This is Katie. Katie was born with a rare metabolic condition called PKU, which is short for phenylketonuria. And if you're doing a research paper, your research project is about to get a whole lot easier. I've decided that the world needs a video made by me about PKU. So say it with me. Phenylketonuria. No, 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 no. Again, phenylketonuria. No, no, no. Okay. I'll help you. Let me break it down for you. Phenyl. Yes. Ketu. Mm-hmm. Noria. You're starting to get it. Phenyl. Ketu. Noria. 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 Don't worry, it took me months to be able to pronounce it, and I have to deal with it. So, what the heck is this PKU thing, Michelle? Well, it envelops my life, and sometimes I forget that nobody else has any idea what this is that I deal with on a daily basis. I don't deal with it, I mean, kind of. Katie is the one who has PKU, but I have to manage the situation until she learns how to do it. Well, see, protein has 20 amino acids inside of it. Our body breaks them down and turns them into things that we desperately need for our nutrition and our health. Out of those 20 amino acids, there is one particular one called phenylalanine. Phenylalanine is one of the 20 amino acids found in protein. Well, in phenylketonorics, they can't break down phenylalanine. It's almost like a conveyor belt in a factory that won't stop. All of a sudden, the body gets bombarded with all of this phenylalanine. 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 Building up and building up and building up and building up. Phenylalanine. Make it stop. Make it stop. And they can't break it down. So it overwhelms the brain and it becomes totally toxic. 20 amino acids. Just one. It takes one to do all this damage. One. FYI, phenylalanine is extremely sweet. So artificial sweeteners like aspartame, they use this amino acid to use as a sweetener because it's very sweet. But it's extremely toxic to phenylketonorics. Next time you open a packet of aspartame, like sweet and low, take a moment to read the back. Phenylketonorics contains phenylalanine. That message is for people like my Katie. That's why when babies are born, they get stuck on the foot with a needle. They take a test to determine whether or not they have phenylketonuria. Who gets phenylketonuria? Like nobody. Just a handful of people. Wouldn't you know it? This situation came and landed on my lap. As if my life wasn't random enough. It's the sort of freak accident that would happen to me. But basically the way it works is the mom has to have an affected gene and the dad has to have an affected gene. And when they both combine their genes and make one baby with two bad genes, that child is born with phenylketonuria, which is why it's called a genetic disorder. Genetic. Genes. Not genes. I mean, you know genes. But to give you a statistic, about one in every 20,000 people in the United States gets it. The cases are really seldom. Okay, so what do you do if you have PKU? Forget your New Year's resolution diet. Try Katie's diet for a week. These PKU people have to live on a very low protein diet for their entire lifetime. As of now, Katie is allowed to have five and a half grams of protein per day. Five and a half grams of protein. Let me give you a little perspective here. Raviolis, nine grams of protein per serving. Cheerios, two grams of protein per serving. That's half the day's ration. Pancakes, yeah, I use fiber one. I need to stay regular. <laughs> Six grams of protein per serving. An all-time favorite of the kids, spaghetti. Just the spaghetti pasta without anything else. 7 grams of protein per serving. How much did I say Katie could have in a day? Five and a half. So obviously eating regular foods is pretty much out of the question. So what can she eat? Mostly fruits and vegetables and food that we have to special order through the internet for people with phenylketonuria. They actually make low protein food and it's not very cheap. But what you gonna do? You gotta eat. So we got low protein pasta, milk free milk, Dairy-free, gluten-free, casein-free, free, 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 protein-free. That's the part that matters to us. It contains as much calcium as milk. Not too shabby. We can even bake special low-protein cookies. These are Katie's creations. I almost forgot to mention that we'd be lost without this formula. Show them, Katie. 
show them like this go like this oh that's you we'd be lost without Phoenix, a supplemental formula that gives her all the nutrition she's been missing out on. People are on Phoenix or any other amino acid modified special needs formula for the rest of their life. So we're grateful for Phoenix. Now everything she eats has to be weighed and measured and kept track of. So how do I know how much phenylalanine is in her food? This is something I use every day, all day long. It's a low protein food list for PKU. Inside you find a wealth of information of quite a number of foods and their weights and their phenylalanine contents, their calories and a bunch of other stuff that I need to know about. I have to weigh everything by grams. So this digital scale is my BFF. Whenever I'm grocery shopping, I'm always on the lookout for low protein food. I'm the only mom that I know that'll go, Fruity Pebbles is low in protein, yes! It's amazing how little people know about the content of their food. I mean, the basic stuff, they don't know about it. And I'm telling you this because I've had quite a number of stupid questions. Now, I get them all the time. It's not just like one random person. I mean, a lot of people are asking stupid questions about protein. So I tell them that Katie can't have hardly any protein. So they insist on trying to figure out and help me and come up with creative ways of me feeding her. They say stuff like, ooh, you could give her some yogurt. No, no, she can't have anything with milk because milk is very high in protein. Oh, so she can't even have cheese strings? Here's another one. I'm sorry, uh, my daughter can't eat meat. Oh, okay. Can she have fish? Huh? Does nobody know that fish is very nutritious because it's low in fat, and high in protein? Can we make her an omelette? What is wrong with you? Don't you know these things are high in protein? It drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. So if you're one of these people, I'm sorry, but that's a stupid question. So there you have it. Fennel Ketunoria. Bon appetit.